So, before I did this video, I looked back at all the other times I had talked about a Venom movie. You know how many times I've done, I've talk, I've done videos talking about Venom movies? Three fucking times! And none of the, all of them kind of came up to nothing. Nothing! But now it looks like we may have something. Again, assuming the numbers for Spider-Man Homecoming come in well. Because here's the thing, Sony has a... I've learned this very quickly, that Sony has this insane... This insane assumption that they th that they put all their eggs in one basket and just run with it. That's what they did in Spider-Man 3, that's what they did in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, and that's what they look like they're gonna do because they think Marvel is gonna, like, be the end-all, be-all savior. When really, yeah... You really gotta count your chickens before they- don't count your chickens before they hatch. I mean, yeah, Marvel can usually knock them out of the park, but, do, you know, that doesn't give you a surefire win, you know, Sony. Remember that. <laughs> anyway, so as we- as most of you guys know, that earlier in the year, they had an, uh, that Sony announced all these plans for- uh, for other Spider-Man related titles to get movies. Again, Venom was out there, and we also have a weird one of Black Cat and Silver Sable doing a buddy cop kind of thief story. Okay. But the one they really wanted to do was an R-rated Venom film. And they not only have a director, but they have uh, they actually have their Eddie Brock for the film. And um, I can't remember the, uh, the director's name, but he did Zombieland. The director of Zombieland, so I think that's pretty cool. I think he's done other stuff since Zombieland, but that's the big one. Anyway, so... Yeah, you're probably wondering, well, who did they get for Eddie Brock? Who is the new Venom? It is Tom Hardy! That's right, Tom Hardy is going to be the new Eddie Brock. He is going to be Venom in what it, what they have claimed to be an R-rated uh, Venom film. Okay. So here's the thing. A lot of people have already complained that, oh, Tom Hardy's too big to be Venom. He's too bulky, you know. He's too big, he's too big to be Eddie Brock. Really? Did you not read the, like, 90s comics? I mean, I mean, 80s, 90s comics? The dude, Eddie Brock was a built motherfucker. Even before he actually got the symbiote, you know, when he was still a reporter, Eddie pumped iron, like a lot of iron. So, yeah, I'm okay with a big dude to play Eddie Brock. Um, I know a lot of people have wanted Tom Hardy to replace Wolverine, you know, to, pray, uh, to be the new Wolverine. Um, and who knows, maybe that can just still be a thing. But as it stands right now, yeah, he's gone from a guy, from a character who uses a drug called Venom to a uh, to a character who wears a symbiote called Venom. Let that sink in. It's so funny that you know. I think what was it last month that we had Venom versus Bane on Death Battle, and now we have the actor playing both roles now. Didn't that just fuck with your mind? <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm okay with. I think Tom Hardy's a great actor. Um, he obviously got you know obviously we know him a lot as Bane. We, he's going to be in Dunkirk. Um, he's done a ton of films, and he's a he's a fantastic actor. Um, and I think he can actually pull off a really you know I think he'd be really cool as Eddie Brock. I think he would really just knock it out of the park as that character. And to have it R rated, I think is cool. But the weird thing is, they keep saying back and forth, oh, it won't be in continuity with the Spider-Man Homecoming. Oh, it will be, but maybe not so much. You know, why not just follow the X-Men route, Sony, and just have, like, with Deadpool, where it's kind of its own thing, at least until X-Force. So yeah, have it like it's sprinkled in there, that, oh, there's all the, this is the Marvel Universe, but this is kind of like the, the dark underbelly, like what the Marvel Netflix are doing you know, the Marvel Netflix shows are doing, and just have it as its own thing. Just sprinkle it, yeah, there's superheroes out there, but I'm not, you know, just have, like, Eddie Brock being like, oh, yeah, there's superheroes out there, <laughs> but I'm not one of them. So, yeah, just have that. I mean, you don't really... And the other thing is that, like, I think we've all kind of wanted a Venom movie, but right out the gate, just giving us Venom, no build-up. But then again, the, the other few times they've tried to build up to Venom have not been the best execution. So, yeah... Maybe just have it, but then it's kind of weird because, despite you know, the black suit is kind of an important role for Peter Parker. That's an important character part for Peter Parker. That's a great character moment where he has, you know, he has to depend on whether power or family. So yeah, it's kind of odd that we're just going straight out the gate. We're just going to skip over Peter's whole thing with the symbiote costume and just go right to Eddie Brock having the suit, or maybe they'll just alter it, saying, "Oh, the symbiote, you know, the symbiote found Brock." I don't know. 
that could be a th that could easily be a thing of the symbiote just found Brock and it um, after it cra you know after the whole events of this but that's the other thing is that they could easily change the origin because um, yeah you could have the John you know John James it came back from the Secret Wars that's obviously not what they're going to use they could do the the spectacular Spider-Man route with um, they kind of sprinkled in ultimate. What I think, actually, now that I think about it, is that they might actually go the ultimate route. They, I would not be shocked if they went the ultimate route. For those who remember from the early Ultimate comics, um, before they kind of altered it a bit, in the early Ultimate comics, when they brought in Ultimate Venom, the symbiote costume was meant was created by Eddie Brock and, Pe and uh, Eddie Brock and Peter Parker's uh, parents as a type of uh, suit that would uh, cure cancer. It was kind of like a life support suit, but it kind of went haywire. So I would not be shocked if they said like, oh, this is what it, they would, but, but at the same time, people would want, oh, what about the alien, co what about the alien aspect of the character? You know, kind of a slippery slope all, all, all the way through. Am I excited for this? Well, it's coming out. Let's just, I want to see it actually come out. I'm not, you know, we may have a, we may have Tom Hardy cast and that's really cool that we have Venom here, um, and I have no doubt that they'll just put Carnage as the as the car as the villain, because yeah, it's gonna be Carnage. Let's let's not delude ourselves on this one. It's it's gonna be Carnage. We we know <laughs> that it's going to be Carnage as the as the film's villain. Um, but am I? Do I think it's a cool idea to have an actual R-rated Venom film? Yeah. Again, Deadpool may have not been the first R-rated superhero film. Of course, like I said, the Blade, tri uh, Blade Trilogy, you also had um, Man-Thing. That was a sci-fi film. There was also um, the Swamp Thing film. Well, the first Swamp Thing, I think, was R-rated. The other one, I think, was PG-13, but I could be wrong on that. So, yeah, there ha and, of course, Watchmen. So, yeah, it, but at the, at the other hand... On the other hand, Deadpool was the one who had the who made a lot of money, and hence why we got Logan, and probably why we're getting this. So yeah, um, at the same time, I'm like, this all depends on how well Spider-Man: Homecoming does. Let's let's not kid ourselves on this. <laughs> if if Spider-Man: Homecoming somehow just utterly like does not go up to par with what they wanted to do with the Marvel with the Marvel Spider-Man movies, they'll just scrap it all over and do it again. Yeah, you know, at this point, you know Sony will do that. So, yeah. Am I am I interested? Yeah, but I'm not going to get my excitement up until I see, like, an actual trailer to, to see, like, oh, this is actually a thing, isn't it? So that's my that's my level of, um... <laughs> that's kind of where the level I'm at. Is it cool that I, we have Tom Hardy in here as, as Eddie Brock? Yeah. Is it cool that this film will pro is going to be R-rated and directed by a, a guy who made one of my favorite zombie films? Yeah. Doesn't mean it's gonna happen. Like at the same time, this is Sony, so just a fickle bunch, aren't they? Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of this casting for Eddie Brock, and what do you think of the Venom film so far? Do, what, uh, just comment below. Let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.